Hey everybody, this is Baseball IQs. I'm Coach Jack, this is Coach Hayden. Uh, so, apparently, we just did a, a, a drop step video and Coach and I were talking and he tells me that there's also an advanced version of the outfield drop step. Uh, so Coach, run me through it. I, I've never heard of this advanced version. Yeah, so my first year of Pro Bowl, I learned the drop step that we, we taught in the last video. And then my second year, I had a guy with the name of Gary Thurman, who played the outfield for a long time. Great outfielder. Um, teach me this way, and this is really for the advanced outfielder. This is for the guy who is committed to the position, um, you know, is, it knows that he's going to play outfield probably the rest of his life. All right. And uh, the, the differences are, it's really about explosiveness. And, you know, as an outfielder, we got a lot of ground to cover. You know, sometimes, you know, in, in, at the highest level, 30, 40, 50 yards. Right. And so we want to be able to explode those positions. So we talked about uh, a drop step is, you know, keeping our toes pointed into the camera. We talked about, um, you know, drop stepping behind our feet. You know that one, right? That's, right. that's the one that we just learned, but this one is different. Well, so, well, hold on. And then we talked about how the purpose of a drop step is we want to be able to not commit forward, we want to read the ball, where it's going to go, the spin, the height, all that stuff. So, how is this one better? So, here's how this is better, okay? So, ball hits my right. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is actually I'm going to move my left foot first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to this way. You're moving your left foot first. Yeah, ball hits my right. I'm going to move my left foot first. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my left toe about 45 degrees, and I'm going to create what we call a power angle. Okay. And then my next step is I'm going to open up, and now I'm in a good athletic position to really be able to explode off this foot because the ball is caught in the first three steps. So what it looks like on a ball to my right in, a, in, in kind of fast motion is I'm here and the ball is hit, all I'm doing is boom. That's what I'm doing. And what I'm doing is again, I'm getting myself in a position to where I can, I'm sideways, and so I can go backwards and I can go forward um, and, and read the, the ball would also explode either way. Okay. That makes sense. So again, this ball is this ball is for the ones that we have to go get. And that's an outfitter as you progress and you learn. And I actually like this one better because I felt more explosive. And it's true, a lot of times if I'm going here, this drop step and I go to turn, sometimes this foot may not turn all the way, so I may not have as much to explode off of. Where this is a sure way to create that power angle, to drop step 180 degrees, and really 185 degrees in a straight line. I was gonna say, you're not even, I mean, really, you're past 180 degrees, you're open. Correct. Backwards. So now my next step can be in a straight line. That's what okay. I'm to do. Okay. And so it's the same thing to my left. I mean, if I'm going to fall to my left, the first thing I'm going to do is move my right foot first. I'm going to turn it 45 degrees. Just going to create that power angle. And then I'm going to open up, again, more than I should, about 185 degrees. So my next step can be in a straight line back. So again, in fast motion, if I'm going to, if a ball is hit over my left shoulder, I'm going to be here and I'm going to be straight back. So I can really get going on the drop step. Um, and, but also, I'm reading the ball too. It's helping me read it, and then I can explode back. Okay, so really, this is for big fields. Bigger fields. Athletic kids that have played outfield and have committed to outfield as their kind of position. And it's on big fields where you need to be faster out of your brain. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And the uh, big thing is, you know, you don't get the balls in the air and making sure that we're reading. This is a great reason. Just another way to do it. For me, I like it. You may not like it. You may like the old, the old school way of just doing a drop step, which is fine. But um, for my kids, and I, and I have some 10 year olds and some 11, 12 year olds that I can teach this to, and I've seen them be better. It just gets me in a good position now, and, I, and I'm, I'm explosive and I'm ready to move. Uh, reality, even online drives, and I, I can go get. And really, another, another reason too, a uh, line drive right at me. This helps me read it better. Because now I'm getting sideways and I'm actually I can actually read that ball right at me and, and I can adjust to it better. And um, I'll get to more of those balls. Hey, thanks for tuning in today. Hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave one below or reach out to us at baseballiqs at gmail.com.